Taurus. It is your season. Happy birthday to you, uh, Taurus suns. Happy new solar year to Taurus rising and Taurus moon. Um, this reading is for any of your Taurus placements. Um, any planets that you might have there, you can consider this as an offering to those placements. Um, so for Taurus, you are really having a big coming out right now. I've been talking to you for years about Uranus in your sign. I've been making metaphors for years about you being a caterpillar in the cocoon, going through your metamorphosis, about to become a butterfly. Um, you have grown your wings now. Your antennae have sprouted. The chrysalis is starting to become looser around your body. You are almost ready to take flight. It feels like you are coming into consciousness around how you're changing in a really important way right now. And this consciousness to me feels like a rebellion. It feels like a rejection of notions that you have had about who you are that were given to you by parents, by society, by who knows what or who knows who, but these notions are not you. They uh, have nothing to do actually with who you are and who you are becoming. And over the course of Taurus season, I think a lot of you are recognizing where there are outdated belief systems, uh, narratives that no longer serve any kind of purpose other than to inhibit you, uh, where your energy gets drained and sucked and manipulated and pulled into things that um, don't lead you in the direction that you want to be moving in. And you are becoming more and more fierce right now. I feel a lot of you are getting in touch with some really healthy and important anger. I think that a lot of you are really understanding um, your boundaries and your limits in new and different ways. There is increasing comfort that I think that you have when it comes to pushing back against what doesn't sit right with you. And you are vocalizing, you are becoming louder. You are literally needing to say and express uh, things that you have nev you never would have allowed yourself to say or express before. Especially as we get into the second half of Taurus season after the Taurus new moon on May 7th and moving towards Gemini season, a lot of you are feeling more and more compelled to use your voice, to use your body, and to use your energy in new and different ways. This is a season of profound growth and opportunity for you when you allow yourself radical expansion. Now, a couple of things uh, to watch out for or to be mindful of. So as you use your voice and as you radically expand, um, of course, there's going to be some friction. And this is a period of time in which a lot of you, I think, are needing to discern and refine inside of your relationships and especially in your friend groups and in your community settings. Um, who and how you want to be relating uh, with. And as you become more vocal, as you become more expressive, that is emerging from a place in you that is less tolerant of what you feel as um, not aligned for you, right? Like, you, like you're becoming less willing to put up with what doesn't feel good for you. Now, this is where discernment is required and this is where refinement is required because some of you are gonna feel kind of unhinged uh, in certain moments. You might feel kind of explosive. There may be a sense of, uh, you know, burn it all to the ground. Like I just, you know, I need to set myself free of something. I need to get something off of my chest. I need to be myself, whatever. And while that may be true, 
I will also say that it is worth a little bit of introspection and reflection. And when it comes to your long-term goals and aims, especially, and what kind of person you're trying to be in the world and what you are wanting to contribute your time, energy, and attention uh, towards, it is worth giving yourself some time, reflection, and introspection um, before you throw all the babies out with the bathwater, so to speak. And you want to be strategic right now about how you are directing your energy and attention. And when I say you want to be strategic, I also really want to encourage you to consider strategies that you have not just for surviving, but thriving. And your strategies might change remarkably when you consider what is surviving versus what is thriving. And to take the example of you using your voice, right? You speaking up or speaking back or feeling like you've had enough with something and you know, you're going to walk away. A strategy for survival might have you um, going into like a fawning and appeasing space. It might have you uh, making really binary decisions like that person is all good or this person is all bad or I definitely can't deal and so I gotta go. Um, whereas a strategy for thriving might allow you to feel into the nuance and the kind of like gray area that there could be in certain circumstances. A strategy for thriving in my body feels more patient. It feels more willing to consider um, where people are coming from, what's happening for you. It feels like if you have strategies for thriving, you're going to be asking yourself questions that have more to do with deeper needs than strategies for surviving, which are often predicated on um you know, really primal reactive responses. So over the course of Taurus season, I really want to encourage you to meditate every day um, with the possibility that all your needs are already met. And I'm not saying that they are. I'm not trying to tell you that they are. I'm just suggesting that this might be an imaginative process that can help you orient in the direction of growth towards thriving versus just surviving. So if you can wake up in the morning and give yourself five to 10 minutes or even five to 10 seconds of imagining in your body, what would it feel like if all of your needs were met? If you had absolutely everything that you wanted and needed in that moment. And see if you can allow that imagination to fill your body with a sense of peace and satisfaction and gratitude. And from that place, try and sense out into where your needs are currently already met. And like I said, I'm not trying to tell you that all your needs are met right now, but I do imagine that many of your needs might be met actually in small or subtle ways that you might not always be aware of or in attention to. And when you have this feeling in your body of your needs are already met, there probably is more patience, more flexibility in your countenance and more willing to give things some time and deeper reflection and introspection. And over the course of your days and your seasons and your weeks, um, when you feel high levels of activation, if you feel a lot of energy coming up, and this energy could be despair, it could be depression, it could feel like overwhelm, it could uh, be enthusiasm, it could be excitement, it could be anger, you know, it's like any feeling that feels big to you, um, try and 
imagine what it feels like to have all of your needs met. Again, it's your imagination. And then tune it back in with whatever is giving you this feeling. And work in the space of conversation between one imagination and the other. And the things that are giving you big feelings right now, um, I think a lot of them are things that have, uh, they have causes and conditions that are enormous. And if you're finding yourself frustrated with people, um, you might be inclined, as all human beings are inclined, to think about the problem being with the person. But I'm going to guess that a lot of the issues that are coming up for you in your relationships right now are actually larger systemic, global, ancestral, you know, deeply embedded issues that are coming up for people right now. And if you can uh, feel into a sense of possibility and ease and gratitude within your own body, and if you can find the somatic sensibility uh, that could come from a place of having your needs met, I think that there's more possibility then for you to hold the complexities that you might be encountering in your friend spaces and in your communal spaces and see where there are routes to creative resolution, uh, to the kinds of processes and conversations that could actually allow you to have your needs met in better and deeper ways. And that would also support you to speak your truth, uh, to make the decisions that you need to make, and to act and react in ways that serve and support how you are growing and where you want to go in your life and uh, in your relationships. <laughs>